Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to talk a little bit about event dispatchers. I'm going to hit play right here and I'm going to collect this one nebula coin that we have in our world. And as you see our score went up to one. And for the sake of uh, this tutorial, we'll say that we wanted the... Once we collect a coin, we wanted another coin to appear in our world somewhere. But we only ever wanted to have one coin at a time. Now we can do this one of two ways. You could come into your coin uh, blueprint here that you see I have opened up and when we overlap our player character this is calling our function in the widget which um, changes our score and then we're destroying our coin. Before we do that we could either call another function here or just very simply spawn actor from class and we could spawn in another coin. But for the sake of this tutorial and to show you guys how to use event dispatchers, we're going to pretend like you can't do this or you don't want to do this for whatever reason. And what you really want to do is have your level blueprint spawn in another um, coin actor or whatever you guys want to spawn in. Now, currently there's no way for you to contact your level blueprint. Um, you can't do something like this and say cast to level blueprint like it's just not gonna show up this is not casting to your level blueprint here so there's no way for the coin actor here to tell the level blueprint that it's been collected and that the level blueprint needs to do something you know and spawn a new coin um, so what we're gonna need to do is create an event dispatcher here and we'll just call this coin collected. And that's all we need to do right here in our coin. We'll hit compile and save. And then we're going to go into our level blueprint. And what we're going to do in our level blueprint is we're first going to come out here. I don't know if you guys can see this. I have a trigger volume. And this is just so that I keep all the coins spawned in a certain area. Um, so I'm going to go back into our level blueprint now that I have the trigger volume selected. I'm going to right click and say create a reference to our trigger volume. And I'm going to say get actor bounds. And this is just going to give me the volume that this actor is occupying so that I know we're going to spawn a coin within this volume. And then from here I will say um, get random point. No random point in bounding box. Here we go. And I'll just connect these up like this. And then we will right click and say spawn actor from class. And this will be our spawn transform. And the class we will get is our coin class. And for the value I'll just give it a random integer say max of 25 and this is what I want to call once our coin has been collected now I can't just hook it up right like this from our event begin play because this is just going to spawn in an extra coin um, within this bounding box so what I need to do is get a reference to our coin so now I can select the coin come back into our level blueprint right click create a reference to coin. And now that our coin has an event dispatcher, what I can do is say assign on coin coin collected. Here we go. And you'll see it'll automatically create this um, custom event here, coin collected event zero. I'm not going to change that. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to drag this up here. And off of begin play, I'm going to create this binding. And then I'm going to hook this up to our spawn actor. And one other thing that I need to do so that we can get this to continuously loop, this coin is creating, um, we are binding something to this event dispatcher here in coin collected. But it's for this instance of the coin. So for this instance, when we collect it, this event will be bound, and it'll spawn a new coin. 
but once we spawn a new coin it's not going to be able to fire this event off again and I'll show you guys what happens if I don't do anything else we will spawn one other coin somewhere nowhere oh my bad forgot so in the coin we're going to call coin collected so this is a call to our event dispatcher and you can hook up in many different blueprints as long as they have a reference to this coin um, bindings up to this coin collected message here and they will all fire off at the same time so now that this is going to be called it will actually tell our level blueprint to spawn another coin so if I hit play spawn a coin and you see another coin pops up but if I collect this coin you'll notice we don't get a third coin and the reason for that is this binding is just for this one coin that we collected so when we spawn in a new coin it's not going to have this same binding even though it has the same event dispatcher within it the binding is not going to be to this um, coin or to our new coin so what we want to do is right click here and promote this to a variable and this will say spawned coin and what we're going to do so drag out we'll hold alt we'll set this coin to be our spawned coin from the beginning and we will break this link and we will now give it the variable spawned coin so for the first time it goes through with this binding it's going to be this coin reference that we get but every time after that it's going to be the new coin that we spawned right here it's going to set this variable so this binding will now be to the new coin and what you need to do is drag back from here and make sure that you reset this binding to our new coin so now if we hit compile and save you will see that we'll be able to continuously collect coins I can get them and they'll keep appearing so this is a way that you can get um, actors in your level to communicate with your level blueprint if there's something that you want to happen or to fire off within your level blueprint you can use a little event dispatcher like this and you can attach many different um, events to your event dispatcher here so I could have another like custom event something else and we can create another binding here and we can hook this event up to it just like that and then you can run something else off of this and this will just print and say collection and now you'll see every time we collect a coin it prints collection up here at the top so you can have different bindings and you can also unbind events so we'll say for the first one we have this binding we have this binding and then for this one what we're actually going to do is say unbind and you can either unbind a single event or you can unbind everything that's attached to this um, event dispatcher so we only have one thing bound to it so we'll just say unbind event from coin collected and this can be your event here so you'll see after we collect the first one no more of these should um, spawn because we've actually unbound this event so it'll come through here it'll bind all of this stuff up we'll collect the coin it'll spawn a new one so we'll do that the first time and then it will fire off this event which will unbind it so once you collect the second coin it won't work Oops. Unbind. Okay. 
play. And we should get... No. Oh. It unbounded already. So we didn't get anything. So no new coins have appeared. Yeah. And I created an error because I did that. But anyway, so you guys can unbind um, if you only want something to one run one run once or twice, you can unbind it after a certain number of times. Um, you can also say if you just do bind and grab from here. Bind. So you can bind an event and it won't automatically create this connection here for you. Or you can click ask it to assign and it will automatically create an event for you. And that's pretty much all you need to know about the basics of event dispatchers. You can create inputs for them like this just like you do with functions and then when you call them you'll be able to pass information in through the event dispatcher all right guys i hope you thought that was helpful and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more tutorials all right see you guys later